Please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. Um, the court is now back in session. Once again, the floor is given La parole to the est rendue à l'accusation qui pourra poursuivre son interrogatoire. Parties are reminded that the prosecution and the lead co-lawyer for civil parties are allocated half a day only, and the defense will be allocated for the afternoon session. Une demi -journée. So please uh, La défense, elle, try to make your questions uh, potentially to the facts of the case. Thank you. Veuillez donc poser des questions Thank you, Mr. President. Dans le cadre Mr. Pick, Jim, I'm moving on now to the period Monsieur after Monsieur liberation Monsieur on the 17th of April 19. Je passe à la période ultérieure à la libération du 17 avril 1975. Occupiez-vous au district 105. I was still réponse. in the same position. There is a member of the district committee. À savoir que j'étais membre du comité de district. And I received people who were evacuated from Phnom Penh and for them to settle in the cooperative. Les gens évacués de Phnom Penh. When you say you still had the same position, was that as the Deputy Question. Secretary of District 105? At that time, I was a Réponse. member. I want to refresh Question. your memory by referring to the interview and I'm going to quote word for word what you said and ask you if you stand by the answer. I'm referring to D232-14, English 00379170, Khmer 00-3734. And French zero zero four zero two six one seven seven. When you said, je cite, when the war ended on the seventeenth of April nineteen seventy five, I was the deputy secretary of District one o five. Do you stand by that answer? Que vous cette yes or no? Oui ou non. President, Mr. Pechim, Pechim, do you understand the last question put to you by the prosecution? It seems simple enough for you to respond. Une Can you do it? Qui assez simple Witness, à yes. Vous devriez pouvoir répondre, n'est-ce pas? Le témoin. I oui. myself was not sure, so I need some pas time bien to certain. think about it. Donc dû prendre quelques instants pour y réfléchir. At that time, yes, I was the deputy secretary of the district. Adjoint du district. That is uh, after the liberation. Après la libération. Donc. My next questions 
are going to be about Je vais à présent what happened to Lon Nol soldiers immediately after the evacuation. De Lon Nol juste après Again, I'm going to read Je part of your interview. I refer to document. the interview on the 27th of August. Datant du 27 août. La défense interrompt. Preston, have it as please wait. Témoin, veuillez attendre. The international la parole defense counsel for Nunchia, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Maître President. Before Coppe. the Merci. my learned friend starts reading Avant the relevant passage from the statement, please proceed. Avant que mon frère ne lise le passage, je pense que nous avons besoin de cette déclaration. Je pense que nous avons besoin de cette déclaration. Je pense que nous avons besoin de cette déclaration. Je pense que nous avons besoin de cette déclaration. Je pense que nous avons besoin de cette déclaration. Je pense que nous avons besoin de cette déclaration. Je pense que nous avons besoin de cette déclaration. Je pense que nous avons besoin de cette déclaration. Je pense que nous avons besoin de cette déclaration. Je pense que nous avons besoin de cette déclaration. Je pense que nous avons besoin de cette déclaration. Je pense que nous avons besoin de cette déclaration. Je pense que nous avons besoin de cette déclaration. Je pense que nous avons besoin de cette déclaration. Je pense que nous avons besoin de cette déclaration. Why this witness is here? So at this point, I think we should now only hear open-ended questions from the side of the prosecution. Thank you. Open. In the chief. I'm in your hands, Mr. President. If a special category of evidence is now being introduced, whenever Lon Nol soldiers are mentioned, the prosecution are obliged to ask open questions. Then of course I will. Des soldats de Lonol, si vous there are, though, many very important ouvertes, issues ferai, in this case, mais il y a dans ce which have been covered without open questions. I invite ouvertes. the chamber not to start introducing special categories and to allow the general rule to stand, which you've already générale, referred to today, that the prosecution chambre, is entitled to read to a witness an extract from an OCIJ interview. President, yes, you may proceed. The prosecution, please continue. Monsieur le coprocureur, vous êtes autorisé à poursuivre. To give everyone the relevant ARNs again, English 0038-0135. Khmer 0037-3432. French 0042-6205. And I'm reading word for word. Je cite. In early 1975, immediately after the liberation, there were not yet any prisoners who were the evacuees from Phnom Penh. I saw some families of the Lon Nol soldiers. When I asked the wives of those soldiers about their husbands, they told me that the military took out their husbands during the journey. The phrase, the military took out, meant disappearance. So most of those women were widows. Do you stand by that answer? Ah. Yes. Réponse. Oui. Next, I would like to move on to the subject of the power of the sector. Un autre sujet, à savoir l'autorité du secteur. And I want to talk about an occasion when you released an arrested person. I need to give numbers. It's the interview of the 27th of August. 
which is B232-17. The English ERN is 00380138. Khmer 00373470. And French zero zero four two six two zero nine. The interviewer asked you, Did you ever forget making any report about certain matters to the higher level up? And your answer was. One time, there was a person arrested by the militias because of a minor problem. I met and spoke with the arrested and the militia unit. And then I decided to release that person. Later, Tassom scolded me and asked why I dared to make such a decision. He warned me not to take a personal view. I apologized to him and admitted my guilt. Now, firstly, do you stand by that answer? Yes. Oui. So we're clear about Tassom. When Tassom was scolding you, what position did Tassom have within the sector, above you? He was the sector secretary. Il était secrétaire du secteur. To be clear on the timings, uh, you said in your interview of this day, the relevant English 00380136, Khmer 00373436, Seven. And French zero 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 four two six two zero six. You said that it was in May stroke June of nineteen seventy six that you became the interim district secretary of District one oh five. Do you stand by that answer? Yes, that is correct. C'est exact. So, Question. Mr. Pechim, is, is, is this right that we have this position that you, as the district secretary, had um, released this person? And Soam, as the sector secretary, was then scolding you. Do I have that right? What I did was correct. Ce que j'ai fait était correct. What somebody else was, was somebody else's affair. So Ce I could not say. Ce c'était son affaire, je ne saurais dire. Do, do you remember now who this person was that you decided to release before Tom scolded you?
no, Wang. The name of the person was Wang. C'était Wang. And can you help me on why you decided to release him? Pouvez-vous nous dire pourquoi vous avez décidé de le faire libérer? He, we worked together. He was in charge of the Nous market, ensemble. and I uh, did not see that he made any marché. mistake or was a traitor. So un traître. it was a nature of a class contradiction, and I requested that to spare him. Classe. So I reported that uh, he was a good person and then it was agreed that he was released. And why, why was Tassom scolding you? Question. Et pourquoi Tassom vous a-t-il réprimandé? He wanted us to abide by the disciplines. Il voulait que l'on respecte la discipline. Okay, I'd like to move on, please, to ask you a question that's based on E3 slash 135. That's a revolutionary flag from June 1977. Now, in this document, Mr. Petchim, we learn that an honorary red flag was awarded to Trumkuk District. Because of its performance in the year of 1976. Can you help me, please, at all about this honorary red flag? being presented to Trump district. Yes, I knew about that. Réponse. Oui, j'en savais quelque chose. It was a rest that the Trump Cup district be awarded and that Le was de also for two other districts, including Samlot and Trumkok was one of the three districts. Et que they districts. appreciate all the work uh, we did in the district and not just the leadership uh, level within the district. Pour because aussi les du district within the three districts that were awarded, uh, there was a redundance of a rise uh, production or Thank you. When, when did you find out that you had, or, or that the district had been awarded the honorary red flag? I cannot recall the month. Je ne me souviens pas du mois. It was actually after the harvest. Season. C'était après la récolte. But I cannot recall the exact uh, date. Moi, je ne me souviens pas de la date exacte. The announcement was made during the study session. Et l'annonce a été faite pendant la session. And the flag was shown to everybody. Et on a montré le drapeau à tout le monde. Did, did somebody um, from the upper echelons come to present the flag? Or how was it handed over? Comment ce drapeau a-t-il été remis? On that day, the upper echelon was uh, represented by Tamok. C'est Tamok qui représentait l'échelon supérieur. And then the sector's party, that is a sector 13, le 
des représentants du uh, parti du secteur 13. Et Tamok a fait l'annonce. C'est un peu comme une médaille d'or. C'était un type de reconnaissance. Et la réunion, quand Tamok a dit the award was this a, a, a sector level meeting or was it a district level meeting can you help me district It was at the sector level. C'était une réunion au niveau du secteur. Uh, and can I ask, were you present at this sector level meeting when the award was made? Pouvez-vous nous dire comment cela s'est passé? Yes, I participated. J'ai participé. I was the one who received the award. Et c'est moi qui ai reçu le prix. That is the flag. Le drapeau. It was considered a gold medal, and I was the recipient of that award. And in, fa in fact, it was the flag that was uh, represented to us, and it represented the gold medal. Uh, and did you display the flag in the district, or what happened to the flag? At that time, actually, uh, Com à kept the flag, Com and later on, Com became sick, and I did not know what happened. Je ne sais pas ce qui est I'm going to move Question. on to the subject of enemies when des you des were the district secretary. Alors que vous étiez secrétaire de district. And the first source document for the question is E3-760, which is a revolutionary flag, issue 6, from June 1976. So this would be from the time when you were appointed as the district secretary. It talks about at page English 00509615, French 00487760, and Khmer 00062850. It talks about the inside enemy and the outside enemy and being constantly vigilant. Can you explain this from your experience? Inside and outside enemies. Inside enemy referred to the enemy within the rank of the revolution, within the army or within the liberated zone. As for the outside enemy, it refers to the enemy coming from the outside. C'est l'ennemi qui vient de l'extérieur. For example, from Takeo province or from uh, Phnom Penh, Takeo, Phnom Penh. and the inside enemy Les refers to those enemies enemy existed within the liberated zone. All the zones under the control of the Khmer Rouge at that time, because those zones were considered zones the liberated zones. Thank you, that's clear. I'd like to move next um, on to E3-742, which is a revolutionary flag from April 1977. And in some instructions, 
qui at English page uh, des instructions zero zero four seven eight five zero one Khmer zero 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 two nine nine one and French zero zero four nine nine seven five eight. This instruction is given. Voici les instructions qui figurent. It is imperative to indoctrinate and whip up the masses into a force to seek out the enemy, assess the enemy, analyze the enemy, track the enemy, pressure the enemy, capture the enemy, to smash the enemy, and to make the enemy like a rat surrounded by a crowd of people beating and smashing it. Now, Mr. Pechchim, did you ever receive instructions from the sector to Assess, track, capture, and smash the enemy. We studied about that. And the information Nous was relayed by the sector for our implementation. Ces and ont été par I le used to attend such a study session. Participé à une telle session uh, uh, <coughs> that is regarding the smashing of the enemy. De des the word uh, smashed, le mot it means to eradicate or to get rid of them from the society. It doesn't necessarily mean to kill them. That is, we get rid of that uh, kind of regime and return the regime to those uh, compatriot ones. De ces gens et de I'll ask you a question just in a minute about the word smash. But can I deal with one other matter just quickly? And it's about teaching you received from Nguyen Chia. And you covered this in E3-401. The relevant ERNs are English 0038 Kamaya 0037 3478 and French 00426217 and I'm reading word for word. I saw Nguyen Chia once when I went to study in Phnom Penh at which time Nguyen Chia was the teacher. That was training for all the district secretaries of the entire country. Do you stand by that answer? Yes. Mr. Pechim, can I ask where did this training take place? Cette formation a-t-elle eu lieu? It was conducted at Borei Kaila. C'était à Borei Kaila. Obviously, I wasn't there. Je n'étais pas là, bien évidemment. Can Can you help me, please, on how? Roughly, how many district secretaries were there Combien at Borai Kaila for this meeting? À l'occasion de cette réunion à Borai Kaila. So, réponse. 
Let me clarify. It was not only for the district committees. It was also for the sector committees. But the sector committee session was held before the session for the district committees where I participated. So for the session that I attended, it was for the district committees, including all the members. Des comités de district there were more than 800 participants de uh, through my best estimation because other members from the various offices and the ministries also participated in that meeting and it lasted for almost a month and it was closed on the study session was closed on the 31st of December that year because by the 1st of January we went for a visit throughout the country for one week and then we returned to our base. So we actually went around visiting various locations throughout the country for one week. That's all. Can I just ask some more questions about the the, the meetings where Nun Chia was a teacher. Um, who else was a teacher at this study session? Was it just Nun Chia or were there other teachers as well? There was only him. You talked about it being in, in December of a year. Can you help me, Mr. Petchim, what year this was? And remember, you became the district secretary, you've said, in May or June of 1976. So my question is, can you help us December in what year? It was in 19. It was December 1975. Because the visit started on the 1st of January 1976. However, there was a study session that was held before the session that I participated. So I actually attended the second study session. However, I did not know about the nature of the first study session. And the first uh, session was instructed by Paul Polk, and for the second session, the instructor was Noon Chia. Now, concentrating on the session that you were at with Noon Chia, I mean, how many times was he your teacher? Just once, or were there more than one occasion when he was speaking to you? It, it was only him non, through, throughout the entire session. Tout au long de la I think you've already said, but je I may have missed it. How long did the session go on for in days or weeks when Nguyen Chia was your only teacher? It was only him who actually gave instruction. The study session plus the visit lasted for one full month. 
So when we concluded the study session, we went for a visit for one week throughout the country and then we returned to our base. That's all I knew about the study session that I participated in, and I did not know about the first session, although I knew that the sector level participated in the first study session. And the one who presented the document during the first study session was Paul Pot. Because after the first study session, Après then the revolutionary flag magazines started to be published. I just, sorry, forgive me. I just want to break it down in, in weeks. Can you help me? How many weeks was the study session involving Nguyen Chia? And how many weeks was the tour that followed on? I already told you the tour was for one week and the study session lasted for a little bit more than 20 days, so in total is one month. Thank you. Now, during the 20 odd days when Nguyen Chia was the teacher, was he teaching you every day? or every week, can you help me on the frequency of his teaching? For the study session, he would come to present the document. Pendant les sessions d'études, il venait présenter les documents. And that is for the all the participants. Everybody actually took note of tous les everything chaque participant that was presented des by him. At that time, we took note by hands because uh, there was no a revolutionary magazine. Uh, jet. So we actually had to resort to a sort of hand writings in order to include everything that he presented. So we had to use an acronym. And there were also other people uh, belongs to his group who actually took notes during the teaching and study session. And then we would break out into a small group so for discussion, and by that time he would uh, left and return to his place. And then when the discussion concluded by next day, then he would come back again to present new documents. And that's the, the routine of the training session. Now, when uh, Nguyen Chia was teaching you. I mean, did he did he ever cover subjects like internal and external enemies? A-t-il abordé des questions comme celles des ennemis de l'intérieur et de l'extérieur? Response. Yes, he did. He covered all aspects without having covered uh, have, having covered this subject of enemies, people would never know how to identify enemies from friends. Ennemis, les gens pas su les ennemis, I want to move on to a fresh subject, if question. I may. And this is to do with the, the structure of the sector, de la structure du sector and its involvement with confessions. Et de son rapport avec les and again, I'm, I'm quoting word for word Je from your interview. It is E3 401. English 0038-1024-5. Khmer 
00373474 stroke 5 and French 00426213. And the interviewer asked this question. Pose la question Can you explain to us what they did with the confessions sent from the Krangtachan Security Center and where did they take them to? De de and your response was, the confessions Donc, and reports which were in the enclosed envelope les and sent from the Kang Tachan Security Center to the sector had to go through the district first. Do you stand by that answer? De Krang Tachan au secteur, mais passé d'abord par le district. Confirmez-vous. Response. Réponse. Yes, I do. Effectivement. And I just next want to deal Question. with what sort of instruction the sector would give. Quant aux instructions données and you par said this, secteur, and I'm reading word for word. Dites, et je cite littéralement. If there were some names in the confessions si were crossed by the red ink, it meant that the sector level had rouge. decided Cela dire that que these names were to be purged, que ces to purge meant to kill. Purger. Purger Do you dire stand by tuer. that answer? Est-ce que vous maintenez cette réponse? Response. Yes, I do. Réponse. Oui. Now, if the sector Question. had put red ink, meaning si kill, le secteur avait utilisé de was it, um, ce qui was it then qu sent to Krangtachan for them to implement, or what was the procedure after the red ink? Au fin de mise en œuvre, après Ces indications à l'encre rouge, qu'arrivait-il Réponse. From the sector, then they would be sent to Krang Ces gens étaient envoyés du secteur à All would be Krang sent to Ta their Chan. place. No one would be Tout spared. le monde était envoyé là-bas, personne n'était épargné. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Petsham, I'm Question. going to move now to some reports, and Je these are reports from the Tromcock district records that we have on our case file. Du de so I'm going to read a selection of some topics in the reports and see if you can help me. Si these reports are collectively within E3 slash 2048. And the first one I'd like to re refer to en premier lieu is a report with a a number on the Il document is the best I can give everyone, and it's 00079087-88. Stroke That's not an ERN number. Uh, that is ERN. the number of the document in its original Mais form. Du numéro but que Mr. Pekschim, this was a document where the name Chim appeared le in the document, and it was shown to you in the interview. Do you remember seeing a document with the name Chim on it in the interview? Un document portant le nom de Chim au cours de votre audition. Response. 
Response. Réponse. I think um, I was given this document. Je pense qu'on m'a présenté ce document. But I noted the person was uh, by the name of Teng. J'ai with the T H O E N G, and I already said I didn't know the name. Que la personne c'était un de nos méthodes. I think that's right uh, uh, with your first answer. Personne. If I just try and help you vrai, in interview D two three two slash sixteen at English ERN zero zero three seven nine three zero six. I believe the Kamaya will be. En anglais, 0037-33-90 you said that I, I can agree it Voici could be my name dites. and you then started talking about a family nom, that had not been arrested or tied up by you. Does that help you to refresh your memory? Arrêter ou ligoter? Est-ce que cela vous rafraîchit la mémoire? Response. No, it doesn't. No. I'm, I'm going to move on, Mr. Pechtim. Um, I'm dealing now with some reports that are sent from communes to Trumkov district. And the first one I'd like to refer to, again, still within E3 stroke 2048, is Item 00079089. This is a report from Qing Tong from somebody called Moon. And I want to read the report to you and see if you can help. The report says. Request to make a report Nous to beloved Trumkot District Ankar as follows. The enemy situation in our bases. After having received successive instructions from Ankar about being vigilant about the enemy, and purging the enemy officers, we have tracked, examined, and found. And then there's a list of some people. So my question for you, Mr. Petch, Jim, is this. Is it right that Ankar gave instructions about purging enemy officers? Sur la purge des officiers ennemis. Response. Yes, it is. Correct. Exact. The next report, still Question. within E3 stroke 2048. It's item 00079090. And this, Mr. Petchim, is a report from a commune to District Ankar. And it says the 106 military families smashed by Ankar, including those who died totaling 393 persons. So can you confirm to us, please, that that military families were smashed on instruction by Ankar? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I don't remember this. Je ne m'en souviens pas. And I, if I did it, I would have remembered it, uh, but uh, 
No, si I, I don't recollect je l'avais fait, je m'en serais souvenu, mais je ne m'en souviens pas. I just want to be clear on that. Um, que tout soit bien clair. You have said already that there were instructions from Ankar to um, track and purge enemy officers. Et les uh, but are you saying that you weren't personally involved en in que vous n'avez pas sending instructions to smash officers or soldiers of London à éliminer des officiers ou des soldats or help de London? us? Response. Réponse. Yes. I'll try and help now with some dates to clarify your last answer. Je vais passer à certaines dates. When was it that you stopped being the district secretary in District 105? Yeah. Réponse. Response. I don't remember the exact Je ne me souviens date, pas de la date uh, but exacte. it was after the liberation. Mais c'était après la libération. I think you said in the interview that you went to work at a rubber plantation in February 1977. Is that right? Response. Yes, that uh, the exact date, I already took note of it. Now, I just want to go back to an earlier topic we were talking about, which was the red ink from the sector. Now, this... Mr. President, I think the witness was trying to say something. I, I didn't hear it, so I should give him the opportunity. I think he was trying to say something. Il essayait de dire quelque chose. No, I, I'm going to move on. Response. I may have to ask you to verify the date again. Are you saying the date. February 1977 or 76? Witness, I would like to correct this date uh, to make sure the record is clear. I left uh, Tramcock uh, on uh, February 1976 because uh, the study session was in January. La so session d'études a eu lieu en janvier. It is uh, true that I would uh, be there in February 1976. Et donc, j'y étais en février 1976. So that would be uh, the precise date. Telle est donc la bonne date. And uh, I met uh, Tamok on Et my way. Et j'ai rencontré Tamok when he asked me route. to perform my work. It was uh, on my way back uh, to the district office when the meeting was being held. Members of the district and commune were there in the office and I was 
coming by motorbike Moi, uh, from work and I took that opportunity to um, say goodbye to them and it was in 1976 en not 1977 Mr. Pictum, it's very Question. confusing with these dates and I just want to be absolutely sure by reminding you about what you've said in the interviews and what you've already said in court today Vous avez Now, do you recall me putting part of your interview to you? Um, I'll read it to you again just so that we're sure. Um, it's D232-17, English ERN 00380136, Khmer 00373467, and French. 00426206 and I'm reading word for word After Tarkiev left Après le départ Ta de Tarkiev told me to replace Tarkiev as the secretary I recall that I became the Secretary of District 105 about in May or June of 1976. Do you stand by that answer that it was May or June 1976 that you became the District Secretary? Some response. Reports. Now his responses. I I just would like to admit that there was another successor of mine before I took uh, this position. Il y a eu un autre successeur avant que je n'occupe ce poste. And I was not actually the secretary je of the district. Je n'étais pas le secrétaire du district. I was more or less an acting secretary of the district because there was no such announcement uh, to say that uh, I Il was the district secretary on that day. Nonetheless, I would district. like uh, to agree with you anyway Cela that dit, uh, it would be in June je that I would become the district uh, secretary because my memory perhaps uh, does not serve me well, but I think that would be the date. De mémoire, mais je pense Thank que you, that's that entirely date. understandable about your Question. memory. Je I just want to read perhaps one or two more of these reports to Trumcott district, district uh, and clarify the issue about soldiers. Uh, I'm referring to document D157.38. This is a report from Popel Commune, if I've said it right, de la commune de Popel, to Trumkop si District. Et adressé au district de Trumkop. And it's to request for advice from respected brother of the district party. It's dated the 11th of April, but there's no year given. And it says, for those people avril, who hold a ranking position, we Pour will send them out to you consecutively. Un poste, ils vous seront envoyés successivement. Now, when you were the district secretary of district 105, du district 105, 
how many people were arrested because they were soldiers? De personnes ont été In other words, arrested to go to Krang Tachan. Combien ont été arrêtés pour être envoyés à Krang Tachan? Response. Réponse. I don't know about Je n'en sais rien. I just don't know. So I'm clear, Mr. Petchim. Are you saying that when you were district secretary, you don't know anything about the arrest? Vous ne saviez rien concernant l'arrestation. Le coprocureur s'interrompt. Response. I don't know. Le témoin. I don't remember. Je n'en sais rien. And, uh, Je ne m'en souviens pas. I had nothing to do with the arrest Je n'avais rien à voir soldiers. avec Somebody les arrestations de soldats. Have been in charge of this. Quelqu'un d'autre devait en être And I just want to clarify in one last theme about red ink on confessions. Revenons à la question de l'encre rouge sur les documents d'aveu. Now, I want to read you again one extract from your interview about these confessions. It's votre PV D23, sorry, E3-401, English 00381024 through 5, Khmer 00373474-5, stroke five, and French 00426213-4. And this is about your involvement with confessions coming down from the, dis uh, the sector. Concernant les aveux provenant du sector. You said Je cite, I would read them je les lisais, if there were some names in the confessions that were crossed by the red ink, it meant the sector level had decided that these names were to be purged, to purge men kill. Now, were some of these confessions with the red ink to do with former Lon Nol soldiers? Concernés d'anciens soldats de London. Mr. President, I think I should ask the question again as I've had no response. I'll try and shorten it. Réponse. Je vais poser la question différemment. Mr. Pick Jim, Je vais la raccourcir. when you read confessions Quand vous avez lu with red les ink on them, portant des à rouge, did some of those confessions refer to former Lon Nol soldiers? Soldats de Lon -Nol. Réponse. Response. No, non. the confessions uh, were not Ces aveux relevant to these uh, uh, Lonol soldiers. Les soldats they de were Lonol. just civilians, and I say uh, they should be released. Uh, some of them should be released. I asked the base to take them back. Je demandais à la base de reprendre ces gens. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Thank you very much, Mr. Pekchim. I've got no more questions. I understand the leads of the lawyers may, Mr. President, have wanted up to 10 minutes. I apologise because I've encroached slightly into that time. Disposé de 10 minutes, j'ai quelque peu grignoté leur temps de parole. Je m'en excuse. The President, uh, thank you. Now we would like to hand over to the lead lawyers uh, for the civil parties to put some questions. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. En effet, comme je l'avais indiqué à Monsieur le Co-procureur, en ce qui me concerne, je n'ai pas de questions à poser, mais mon confrère Hong Kim Soon a besoin d'une quinzaine de minutes pour poser ses questions. Merci. Counsel Soon would require some 15 minutes in order to address his questions. Thank you. Le Président. President, you may proceed. Indeed. Je vous en prie, allez-y. Counsel Hong Kim Soon, Maître thank you very Hong much, uh, Mr. President and Merci, Your Honours. And uh, good juges. morning to the bench and to Bonjour the witness and the court. And due to time constraints, I may now be straightforward to putting questions uh, to the witness. I am Hong Kim Soon. Je vais and I have some questions for you, Mr. Direct. Je Jim. Hong Kim Soon. You Je à vous poser, testified Témoin. before the court prosecutor about the enemies, and you knew very, very well the enemies, term enemy, uh, enemies themselves. Can you clarify before us uh, whether there were any categories of enemies being determined at that time, if you remember? Response. Réponse. When I said uh, I knew the enemies, it's because I would like just to say that uh, it was not my uh, idea that everyone would be regarded as je enemies. Y avait des I understood that not everyone was enemy, and uh, we should not dire que be je easily que tous a fool des to believe that everyone would be Il enemy because people could accuse anyone of enemy so everyone who lived together would ennemis. be regarded as friends les enemies would be living far apart from us Council, Council, I thank you for this nonetheless I would like you to kindly uh, just say Merci. The, the term enemies how do you understood enemies Mais to be pour vous, Council my concern uh, uh, Hong Kong Council is not activated ennemi. A response: uh, Enemies uh, were the opponents. Les ennemis, c'était les Those opposants. Those who opposed us and the country, les adversaires, and the people. Ceux qui s'opposaient à nous, au pays Hong et au Kong peuple. Question. Another question, please. During the democratic Cambodia regime in District uh, 105 in particular, and you were the district secretary as you testified to the court prosecutor. Now, regarding Krang Tachan security center, was this center meant to detain those who were accused of being enemies? À mettre en détention les gens accusés uh, d'être des ennemis. Please uh, answer again, as your mic was not yet activated. répéter la réponse, car votre micro n'était pas allumé. Indeed, this center was uh, for detaining people who were accused to having committed wrongdoings, des offenses, des infractions. Counsel, thank you. You said uh, you requested for some release of the people from Krang Tachan Security Center. Libéré du centre de sécurité de Krang Do you know what happened to those who were not released? Ce qui est arrivé aux gens qui n'ont pas été mis en liberté. The President, Mr. Jim, you may now respond again because you responded when the mic was not activated. So to make sure you be heard, then do it again. Donc, bien entendre ce que vous avez dit, veuillez répéter votre question. Response. Réponse du témoin.
I don't know what happened to them or where they should have gone. But I believe Je pense qu'il leur est arrivé où they ils ont died. Je pense qu'ils sont morts. Only some people who were spared, and I, uh, those were parmi. the people that I uh, requested uh, for release, and they still now live in the village where I live. Et ils vivent toujours dans le village où j'habite aujourd'hui. Council, Question. thank you. Merci. Can you also explain to the people you said the, who disappeared or gone? Does that mean they all died? Cela veut-il dire qu'ils sont tous morts? Response. Réponse. Although I can't exactly say that they all died, uh, it would not be morts. wise to say so because sometimes I would see one of them somewhere. Dire, uh, I just dans come across de, de them. À so à I can't say exactly Donc that these people could have died 100%. Council, thank you. I would like to ask you another question. question. During the time when you were the Secretary of the vous poser une autre question. District que vous étiez 105 du district and in Tramcock. Tram when an ordinary person broke Quand une a hole or any ou kind of instrument, ou should they be accused? Of being an enemy. Les accusait-on d'être un ennemi? Response. Réponse. During that period, when I heard à about this, I would go and educate people that do not J'allais implicate people gens. as an dire, enemy ne when pas they only ne les accusez pas d'être des stole quand tout ce qu'ils ont fait some sweet potato or like some pomme de terre douce roots racine. that was not proper counsel thank you now regarding the evacuation Question. of the population Merci. from Phnom Penh in the aftermath of, of 9, uh, 17 of April 1975 can you tell the chamber whether you saw some of them being evacuated to your district vous avez remarqué que certains d'entre eux avaient été évacués vers le district response réponse yes i saw them Oui, je les ai vus. They were happy. Ils étaient heureux. Rather, I, I was happy plutôt, that these people came in great number to help us nous aider in the countryside. Dans la campagne. I was in the district. People Moi, were gathered uh, from elsewhere and they would les be transported uh, or uh, brought to the cooperative and Council Hong Kong soon. Thank you very much. I'm Merci sorry to uh, interrupt uh, you because uh, we are running out of time. I would like to go to another question, please. Une autre question. Were the evacuees classified, uh, for example, in two categories of former colonial soldiers and so on and so forth? Response. Comme that exemple, didn't happen in my area. I was in charge of looking after these people, but I did not know gens. anything about this. Mais and uh, soldiers would also be in charge of managing the people. Aussi de la de la Council, thank you. Question. By late up 1975 Merci. or uh, in 1976, Were there any evacuations of the people from District uh, 105 of Sector 13 to the northwest and southwest zone? Des de la population zone? du secteur 105, du secteur 13 vers les zones nord et nord-ouest. Response. I think Réponse. I didn't quite understand your question. Bien votre question. 
question. question. I asked you about the event in late 1975 and early 1976. Si, 75, what happened in District 105 of Sector 13? The question is, did you know whether people were evacuated from this district to the si northwest and de la population du district a été évacué vers les zones nord-ouest et sud-ouest? Response. Réponse. Yes, there was uh, the evacuation of people to the northwest zone. Oui, il y a eu une évacuation Council, des gens vers le thank you. Vers la zone nord-ouest. You mentioned Question. about Merci. the award uh, offer to you and your district. Can you tell the chamber what made uh, you and the district receive such reward? Du prix. Que, votre district, que vous et votre district avez reçu. Pouvez-vous nous dire pourquoi vous l'avez reçu? Response. Réponse. We successfully did uh, great farming because nous we could achieve almost three tons uh, per hectare. Atteindre l'objectif des trois tonnes par hectare. Council, thank you. Was that Question. the plan rendered uh, by the uh, leadership of the Khmer Rouge or the Democratic Cambodia to ensure Khmer that the uh, people could, uh, um, could have like three tons per hectare. De produire trois tonnes par hectare? Response. Réponse. That was the plan by Anka. It was rendered down Anka to the people to ensure that uh, these quota could be achieved. And I also was engaged in ensuring Et that it was achieved. Council uh, thank you very much. Question. We are running out of time and Nous this is going to be my last question, question to you. You said that uh, Krang Tachan Security oui, Center was located in District 105. And you saw it uh, there. Did you know que that this center vu, was um, there after 1975? Si Response. Réponse. Krang Tachan Security Krang -tachan. Center was in District uh, 105, but it was under the supervision le of the sector. Sous les Question. Du secteur, enfin, le centre de sécurité, after the 17th of the after Question. January 1979, après janvier liberation, 1979, um, were you convinced that people were killed during the Democratic Cambodia? Response. Yes, I was. And oui, I en janvier 1979, le jour de la libération. Croyez-vous que des gens avaient été tués Le Président, Court officer is now directed to assist uh, the witness and his jury counsel during the recess. And that, uh, they should be returned to the courtroom when the next session is resumed. Security personnel are now directed to bring Mr. Kiusom to his à la cellule cell downstairs and have him return to the Et courtroom le au before, na, uh, before 1.30 p.m. The court is adjourned.